Hi, I'm Robert Jeffress, Bible teacher on Pathway to Victory and pastor of First Baptist Church in Dallas. All of us at First Baptist in Dallas extend our condolences and prayers for the victims' families of those who were massacred in Orlando. We don't know all of the details about this shooting, but if perchance, as some have suggested, this is tied to radical Islam, it is yet another demonstration of the difference between Christianity and Islam. Radical Islam says, kill your enemies. Jesus said, love your enemies. Even those people who may be living a lifestyle with which you disagree, Jesus says, we are to love them, and in no way are we to engage in violence against them. Although we don't know the details of this shooting, one thing we know for sure is, the Lord is close to the brokenhearted. People ask, well, why would God allow something like this to happen? First of all, God's not responsible for this shooting. As C.S. Lewis once said, most of the violence in the world today is the result of men with bayonets, guns, and gas chambers. This shooting is yet another demonstration of the fact that this world is filled with sin. But the Bible also promises that tragic events like today will one day end, and that is when Jesus Christ returns and gains victory over sin. The Apostle Paul said in 1 Corinthians 15, at that time, death will be swallowed up in victory. O death, where is your victory? O grave, where is your sting? That's the victory over sin one day we look forward to when Christ returns. I hope you'll join me in praying again for the families of these victims in Orlando and pray for the God who is able to work all things together for good to those who love God and are called according to his purpose.